sealed elect because the seal didn't blood. You know, I'm death. The seal of death. You can't have the seal. The seals, like they show you, they put seals on envelopes. It's red wax, like it's the blood in the seal. I mean, it's the blood. Blood over intent is an ancient Protestant ritual. Before you have anything of value, anything to do with people's lives, or anything to do with people who flip somebody out, you can put your blood up. We're gonna shut the fuck up. It's ancient holy grail shit. It's holy blood, holy grail. Yeah, holy hole. You think heaven's up? I'm saying we're into a hole. It's a hole, like heaven's beneath your feet. The holy grail layer below. You know, it's in the hell the Don Keeve are going, you know, in the hole. It's like, that's why they put it on the ass of the donkey. I mean, this is, you know, it would be pin the nose on the donkey rather than pin the fucking tail on the donkey. Pin the ear on the donkey. Pin a fucking saddle. Why does it have to be his fucking ass? You know what I mean? With a pin, you're in the hole. And I'm just saying that. Bobbing for apples, like you're going to put your face in the water to get the apple because you're going, like that time you're going through the hole, but you're going to go in the fucking Achilles had his heel because his mom didn't dunk him all the way in the water. Well, that doubt he had his heel left because nothing possessed her to go in all the way. There was nothing selfless about this. It was his gun. That's why he had a good heel. I'm completely selfless. You don't even look at me. Anything. I like nasty or bad or anything. I don't care what you yell at you. Never. What? Heaven on earth, you know. Benefit of all of us. What the fuck am I doing? No, I am making an atonement for myself by the law, by the gods. Your creator's law. Don't you throw around God, Jesus, that fucking creator. Bible, God, whatever. It's bullshit. If those gods are power, you would just be in a completely different mindset. Because you know when somebody's been touched by this shit? Because you're standing here like this, doing mythical shit. Against all, you know, better stuff, you know, whatever it is that you think is happening. Do this and get away with it. How does he have a son and go and how does he even have a home with a normal wife? You know what I'm saying? But it's all in your head. It's it's in your head. You know, something empowers me to do this shit. I tell you, I look at the sun and I speak my intent. It's the collective consciousness of the whole. When you think of the god of a thousand names, myth or whatever, look, you have your ring finger and your fuck you finger. Okay, this is like your limb finger. They're showing you, like, Jesus the sun has to stick his light into the hole for the ash trailing light to come out of the, the black hole, you know? Fuck you, wake up. You need to get to there to wake up, to get out of this reality. And uh, it's woven into literally everything, you know? I mean, literally everything. It's just, everything's a distraction. Everything, another distraction, another this, another problem, whatever. Just lay low. Stay out of trouble. The frog slowly, let other people go up there and think I'm crazy and stuff. That's the process. We, this is what I want. We need the example set to see that people get to a point. It doesn't exist. It's not there. It's because it's called Invisible Mountain for a reason. We need to drink the elixir first. People aren't, you know, even go down that path of that crazy quasi luminous of vampire type shit. That's funny you think vampires bite into people's necks you know it, it's there's no healing stem cells in the necks i mean you have to be like you know in some sort of mythical type of relationship with someone and you guys gotta be on a level where like you're not gonna be flipped out you know if your girlfriend said something you might dump her if you said something she might dump you or you know you spook each other out or something this type of shit to even come together we're gonna be bathing in the eternal waters of Kali Maya, the bloody red water, this is not an accident. This is like, it's woven into reality. It tells you all the shit right there. It's, it's like we're invited. It's different than like, you know, people who have like a twisted view on like, you know, the They just don't see it. It's like, she's invited. Look, well, like an exodus type thing, like, we, we go, look, and I know people say, well, do I need passports? Shit, you're missing this underlying feature. You gotta wake up some people. Do you care about anybody? Do you only care about yourself? I mean, how many people do you think I've woken up in the name of Blood Over Intent? No, I don't have no PayPal. You can't find a way. Is it, motherfucker? Ah, you, 
You put a face down, cat. I mean, you just see all these guys. Uh, everybody's trying to something for nothing. You watch my video. I want some money. I gave you some knowledge. Give me some money. I don't want nothing for you. Mm -hmm. You can do anything with knowledge, anyways. Look at you. You know what I mean? Why would I charge you money for? It's like people say, learn how to do this. Learn how to buy my kit. Buy my kit. It's just the funniest shit. But buy their kit. Real estate. This. Whatever it is. I mean, this just. The fact that they sell it to begin with shows that there, there's nothing in there of real value. Even if there was, because, like, if, oh, yeah. because they're telling you you're going to get rich and all kinds of shit that you would have became rich and you would want to share it with the world, not charging it. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a, look, I know where eternal life is, and I don't even go down the idea of money. This is ridiculous. What the fuck does God need your money for? You go to church, they, they collect your money. This is the craziest thing. It's supposed to be God. Why would you? Oh my God! This whole idea that the church doesn't just hand out money rather than collect money, and you say, "Well, they need to perpetuate this idea, this religion." And I'm telling you, after a thousand years, I'm all reading the same book over and over and over. Nobody's gotten any smarter. You're all just as dumb and slaved as you were before. Clear. Pedophile priests and everything. Don't tell me they need your money. They, they have no interest in you getting any. You're rebirth. They want you to get reborn so that you become stupid again. The exorcist. And you see this demon possession. And this is kind of funny because, you know, when I say I'm the prince of demons, that should flip people out. Um, I can see what the fuck is up. I know what the hell is up. So when you guys see those demon magicians on the TV that do cool stuff, if you think doing parlor trips, parlor tricks is cool, you know, that's, that's sort of funny. What? These magicians, they could do parlor tricks on stage and make people say, that's a demonic what? Magician. You can see all the videos on YouTube, demonic magicians. They say Chris Angel's possessed and all these other guys are possessed. They stick needles and shit through them. And it's kind of funny. They're not leading the way to the Fountain of Youth, the Garden of Eden, are they? No, they're not. Screaming out publicly with all their power and, you know... You know, their might that they have to do this and that, walk up buildings and chuck people in half on A&E TV or whatever it is. What I'm saying is that, you know, even if you're, you know, whatever magician, Houdini, it's just kind of funny. You couldn't escape the box to save your life. Um, or you would have done it already. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's called a book of life for a reason. It's Satan's elect. So when people say, you know, you're sound... You know, you sound so demonic. You have no idea what it means to be the prince of demons. And uh, that should really shake people up. Because when I say it's clear who holds the spear of destiny, this is not an accident. People don't say this shit. Or they would have said it already. And they would have taken over the world. Because he who holds the spear holds the fate of the world and nobody has to like it. So... You know, my demons will eat you alive. When I say that, it's like, you're the one who's going to eat them alive. I'm going to eat them alive. We're all, you know what I mean? It, I don't like to pick on people, but when I see people picking on my blood brethren, like, whatever. I don't even remember their names. I, I see their videos from time to time picking on you, but they never show their face. And I leave a comment. Show me your face. I will take that fucking video and reverse it. And your lips will match all your stupid shit. And you'll be talking out your ass. Because, you know, you need to make an atonement for your filthy soul. And only your blood can make atonement for your soul. Animal sacrifices are insufficient. And Jesus can't save you. I have the mythical spear of destiny. So, you know, I'm going to publish all these videos with, you know, like the exorcist and you know, it says, fuck Jesus, fuck you, fuck Jesus, fuck you. People like to see me as the most blasphemous, you know, you, you think of whatever character in the past, you know, Anton LeVay or whatever, you know, that's just kind of fun. You know, that motherfucker was on TV. If he had the spirit, to get me on TV, you put me on a radio show, what do you think I'm going to be screaming out? I'm going to be oh, screaming out yeah. the fountain of you, Holy Grail, you will join me in die, you will join me in blood or die. That's what I would say. So when you see like these old videos like Anton Le or, or Aleister Crowley, yeah, people say, 
He was the beast. That's kind of funny. The angel of death is gonna find you, motherfucker. I'm gonna live. Nobody fucks with me remotely. I'm telling you. Not my boss, not my wife. So nobody, nobody bothers me. Everybody can see them. If if you're even come into contact with me, you know what the prize is. Mm-hmm. And you don't want anything for you. I don't want your money, your worship, your rights. You're in the book of death for a good reason. Until you make an atonement for your filthy soul, it is what it is. All your leaders swore in the Bible. It, it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's not up for debate. And that's why this should, this should scare people. Because, you know, you think like military and CIA, whatever it is out there that's going to stop you is not stopping me because I fly above all weather or I fly under the radar, but I'm right there on the radar screaming it out. Join me in blood or die. Who says this shit? Darth Vader says it. Uh, they said Benjamin Franklin said it. To unite people when the British were coming, it was join or die. You know, this is what's going on right now. It's natural order that your grandma dies, that your great grandma dies, that your grandfather dies. They're getting cancer and all the shit. My mother died of pancreatic cancer. I saw her just disappear in two months. Poof, she went from a healthy woman to gone literally overnight. So what I'm saying to you is that I have people out there I need to save. My people that I suggest I worship, like my son or my wife, or whatever it is. And if you save one person, you end up saving everybody. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want your money, your worship, or advice. I can take care of my own trip there. It's You have no fucking clue where to go. You would find yourself spinning in circles because it's all set up this way for a reason. You know, the Prince of Demons conjure. When you see the Exorcist, when you see these magicians like EA Coetting or whatever it is, they sell all these books. That's just, I don't care what coven they suggest they're from, whatever it is. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. You're so filthy, sickly, wizardry, retarded, just like you're Harry Potter on steroids. Look like <laughs> pubic face. But is there's no way to escape this. You're, you went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. Every word you speak is a magic spell. People say horrible shit to each other. Like, like you hear like the guy I'm apprenticed to. So you don't want to work with the devil anymore. No, poof. My boss saw that. He's like, oh, let's shake him up. Let's put him, you know, on his own without an apprentice for a few days to see how he makes out. You can see the guy going local already. You know, people ask me a lot of shit. And a lot of people send me a lot of these videos. You know, I know people like to beat me up. You got to watch this. You got to watch that. Unless it's. If it was that powerful, you'd be using that information to focus on the Holy Grail. If I don't make Holy Grail videos every day of my life, you're going to expire. Because nobody will be motivated to do this shit. And, uh, I mean, let's just call it like it is. You know what I mean? If if I don't beat the fuck out of this Ethernet with this blood over intent, standing here with Satan, you know, you think I'm demonic? You don't know what demonic is. I'm taking over the fucking universe. I'm going to throw... The bridge keeper off the bridge, motherfucker. Not you. I mean, for heaven's sakes. When we reverse your words, you don't hear you're leaving for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry. And, you know, whatever it is that God loves you, God bless you. Nobody, I'm the one who decoded that shit and chopped the head off your motherfucking head. Don't even say I love you to someone. That's, we shall die. We will die. So this is like crazy shit. So... You know, I say I decapitated your God and stuff. Every time somebody sneezes, you still say, God bless you. It's like, you know, I worship you would be better off to say. And, uh, you know, Jesus freaks out. They're never going to get it. I'm sorry. It's like I'm bringing down the church uh, just like prophecy by the book. This is like, you can't say they didn't tell you it was coming. This is like woven into reality. You can't say you didn't see it coming. They told you the Antichrist. Got it. I am the one true motherfucking Antichrist, Prince of Demons, Devil himself, uncontested. And nobody even would try to stop me. It doesn't make any sense. 
I'm not taking anything from you. You can't hold anything over me. I, I took $5 for you, $50. For, I didn't take anything from you. All I said is put your blood up side by side. Eventually, there'll be 144000 in the Book of Life. Long before... When you see 100000 in the Book of Life, I'm going to go there. Find myself. Come back. Get more, and then drag it. Whatever it is, what I'm saying to you is that I'm going to live. I don't... Nothing, when I see, nothing gets in my way. I'm telling you. Freaky shit. Like, freaky shit would just blow your fucking mind. So, like I said, but nobody bothers me because they've already been flipped out. Everybody around me is like shaking at their fucking core. So, you know, when you think demonic and shit, I love when you call me demonic, when you tell me I'm possessed or something. Like, this is the funniest shit ever. If this is what possession looks like, you know what I mean? Then tell me what the fucking exorcist was all about. Spinning heads and barfing. You, you know what I mean? And That's them. The marks, they, they show you the mark on her leg. It's her calf. Like, you, you sacrifice an ox, a calf, the lamb of God, this Jesus thing. You, you know what I'm saying? It is on her leg. So, the, the atonement that, you know, people say, I'm not going to harm myself with a pinprick to do this. That's demonic. This is fun. People say, you're, the demons are attracted to your blood. If, if demons are attracted to blood, I've thrown up so much fucking blood on this. It, it's, nobody even compares. Because everybody else might have been using a chicken's blood or this. I'm using my own fucking blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the one who's drawing all the blood, donating the blood, spilling the blood, doing all this shit. So, you know. It's become an offering to God. Yeah, I hate to say I don't want to flip you out, but I do want to flip you out. You should be flipped out. Yeah. No one can flip you out. Like if you believe in Jesus right now, and you think I'm a bad guy, it's clear. Jesus couldn't come back using his own name. The vicar of Christ is a pedophile, telling you you're in a vault, floating through space as a monkey, living in a fucking castle of gold. And... He owns your soul until you come of age or until Jesus Christ returns. So I've come of age is what I'm telling you. I can see too much, and I know. I don't care if you think you're CIA or whatever. Government, you have no fucking intelligence. You could be working for a stu for that government who's sucking all your life. If you had any intelligence, you would have bypassed the government, and you'd be like with us, blood thicker than water, taking over the universe. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. I don't see any intelligence out there at all. So, spilling your blood on the demon sigils, you do it on front and back. So, maybe that's why I get more power than other people do, because they only do one side of it. You know, if you did your tarot cards on one side, like I did, I showed you. Put your finger, do one side. And I'm telling you, flip them over, do them all over again on the back side. Because all the demons and all the tarot cards and the whole Torah, everything about reality is based on this basic shit which is these forces like the 72 genie of the Arabian Nights. You know, this guy shows you this video, the little Megaton with this shit, and he doesn't know what the fuck it is. The guy thinks he's on a ball floating through space as a monkey. But I, as Satan, after making the atonement for my filthy soul, I can see everything. And uh, and you can see it too. Once it's pointed out to you, your candy canes, your Christmas trees, you take communion, it's like, I have to stand here and say, you take a disc when you go to church showing you it's the sun disc. It's one side of a light hole, it's a black hole. At the center of the flat earth plane, every compass has to point there. There's a black hole there, sucking off this sun and spitting out the astral light. It's on loop. There's nobody to it up. How people miss it? Bowing their head in front of the black sun, closing their eyes, making a witch's light. So what I'm saying is just, I don't see how anybody has any power to catch up with us. When this really sinks in, you'll see. That it only takes one of us, you know, to really see it. <laughs> if I can make you see it, then you'll assume your position. Like the 144,000, somebody was reading about it. If one of you fails to take your position, that ain't the fucking book of life. You know what I'm saying? It's 144,000 in the what book of life. Your creator's not heartless. It's that you're fucking heartless. You can't even make atonement for your filthy soul. You yell at your wife and your boyfriend or whatever. I mean... Everybody aggravates you. Nobody aggravates me. You know what my boss says to me? Thank you for my opportunity. Whenever he tells me to jump, I jump. I smile. I never give anybody's lip. 
I always buy breakfast or lunch for whoever's with me. Without fail, I like to be the one who's like running around helping the other people, cleaning out their trucks, doing whatever. And I don't mind getting dirty, you know. It's the meek that inherit the earth. It's going to take people a long time. I don't want to be rich or anything. You're going to see how this all unfolds. It's going to be. That's true. It's, it's like a book. It's 144,000 in the book. If one of you fail to assume your position, the book is bust and Satan takes over the world. Fuck everybody. Uh, if, if I can't shake you awake as Satan, you know what I mean? That even if Jesus came from the fucking clouds, he couldn't shake your ass awake. He'd be like, I'm going to beam you off in the speed. But right now, you'd be like, fuck off. Yeah. I mean, people who suggest they're Jesus peeps are sickly, filthy, retarded beyond measure. All the symbols show you what the fuck is up. There's no way to escape it. So, you know, it doesn't matter what anybody believes or thinks about me. I'm about as demonic as you can get, and I don't look like that exorcist shit. So, you know, when you guys make your videos about us doing blood over his head, this is kind of fun. You know what I mean? This is like pitifully funny. They're in the book of death for a good reason, and they'll never see it. It's because 144,000 need to take their position. If one of you fails to take your position, you're going to see what the fuck happens. I'll probably, like the whole thing, I mean, you could just fit, it's just like a movie. It's like, if there's no worthy souls out there to save everybody else that you suggest you love or worship, then fuck everybody, you know? They say, last time God destroyed the world with a flood, and God said next time he's going to burn it in fire. I'm going to dive into the lake of fire. I'm going to bring back this fire and pass it off to the world and set this place ablaze with immortality, giant trees, heaven on earth, and everybody will be happy. Nobody nobody will be angry. You don't see, I don't see anybody rising up against us. You see people talk little <laughs> shit type of stuff, you know. It was like this video I just uploaded. Demonic programming. And it shows you. So if you want your creator to operate independently through you, you need to give permission. That's to atonement. Do you think anybody, I mean really, you see this guy beating up all these people, this guy in his movie, like he's possessed, like he's got the Neo shit. He's downloaded all kinds of shit. It's like that. You see a magician, he, he demonic possessed, and now he can do shit with moving stuff from here to there. And it looks like it's floating through the air. But his mind is on using this mythical power to bring forth heaven and earth, free everybody from bondage remotely. That never crossed their fucking mind. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's that... You know, the forces of the universe are actually watching. I'm living proof. Nobody gets in my way. It doesn't matter what you believe. Eventually, I'm going to go off to this place. I already know nobody's going to go off. Even if they did, they'd be... What would you... It doesn't make any sense. The person who tells you about it... I mean, even if you read all the books, they tell you you need the grace of your motherfucking creator. Mm -hmm. It has to be selfless. You can't just... Your creator. They're telling you that it's going to be a scary type thing for most people. Because, look, if you, you're an adult and you have a child and you go five miles up the street, you're not lost. You know how to get your way home. But your child, if you were to leave him, your child wouldn't be able to find a home. He'd be shaking to his freaking core at like two years old. You know what I mean? Completely lost. When you get to this circle, this ring of fire, that's what it is. The ring of fire, the aurora borealis. When you get to this place. Mythical shit starts happen to you if you're if you're not in it for the benefit of, like like I am. You'll see that you go crazy. You make stupid moves. You go delirious. You'll freeze in the snow. You'll starve. You'll drown. Whatever it is, you just won't make it to the Holy Grail because you need the grace of your Creator. Nobody gets into this place without being invited. Just like when they say the Holy Grail guardian, ancient guardians of brawn, there is no fucking chance. And when they show you. Satan's real name is Mark, which is pun of the devil. This is impossible shit. You know what I mean? Just like the I love you, God bless you shit. It, it's, it's not something you, once you see this shit, you, you start to get flipped out. What do you say to people? What's, you feel like you got to choose a side. 
It's not that you have a choose a side. It's for the benefit of all. You're in the book of life because you're here as a representative of this grand architectural force of this universe. And like that video shows you, once you give that force permission through your atonement, like I say, I gave up my free will. I say this all the time. I follow a book. I gave up my free will. That I know how to access the link. I download shit. I can see shit, read numbers, do all kinds of stuff. And what I'm saying is because we're in a computer simulation, your computer symbols are showing you that symbols of the language of the universe and the conduit that your biomorphic field is flowing through. And the Philosopher's Stone and the Ethernet, this, people will never figure this out. They'll never get close. It's, it's 144,000 because nobody can even comprehend this shit. They're not allowed to. They're all selfish cockroaches. If they knew their blood was so powerful, they wouldn't use it for the benefit of all. There, You see people put a, I intend to make a million dollars or more and be wealthy and prosperous. That's funny. You want eternal life. Then you can pass it on to the people you suggest you love or worship before they die off. And if you think your money, it, this has nothing to do with money. I don't care how much money you think you have. It's worthless paper. It has, it's not spiritual currency. And where we're going to, they don't take money. They're not taking advice. This is a mythical place. They look at us like we're all filthy cockroaches, just like I see everybody's cockroaches. Because, again, when you visualize this other place that we're going, everybody's cool, buddy, buddy. You, you don't want to. You don't need to get anything from nobody. For you to steal a nickel from somebody, nickels don't exist. For you to steal gold from somebody, this, the streets are lined with gold. Uh, for you to take jewels, they're cities of jewels. I mean, it, everybody's so fucking greedy. You know what I mean? It, it's just sickly. Uh, there's no way. It, your it's money designed. cannot fucking help you. The only thing that's going to help you is getting into the Book of Life. It, it, when 144,000 people, that's the Book of Life, like the book says. If one of you fail to take your position, then you undermine the whole benefit of all type of shit. You're just so fucking selfish. And then it's proper that we switch into the other mode where it's like, you know, this end of days, freaky type shit, you know? I mean, at least project that scary image onto the world. You know what I mean? Because we're selfless. We've made a tome of our soul. Nobody's going to step in our direction the wrong way. It doesn't... You might throw yourself in front of a train and find yourself, you know, regretting it because you lived and now you got to go through all this shit and people look at you like you're crazy. Why would you do, you know, people say to me, if you don't reply to my email or whatever, I don't say this or that, they're going to kill themselves. You're already killing yourself. If you're not in the book of life, you're killing yourself. <laughs> Where do you think you're, you're, you're living to die. You're born to die. I'm born to live. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to live for this cause. And uh, I'm going to spill my blood over my paycheck. I'm going to rub it into my everybody's faces and show them. You, they all know who They call me the devil at work. They're cool with it. You know, when I laugh at them, I, I let me drink your blood. Or, you know, if I was single, I'd drink your, your menstrual blood. I mean, I flip some, <laughs> some, some people. I mean, I have fun. Because... You know, I've seen too much. I already know who I am. It's it's not up for debate, you know? Unless you got gallons of blood to spill up right now, it's a prince of demons. You know, do my job for you. You know, you're just going to find yourself going insane. All the knowledge will just... Everybody you try to tell it to, they're all going to think you're fucking psycho. I don't care if people think I'm psycho. We're all blood thick, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. Russ, what, what else do you see? As, what else are you seeing? I mean... I think you know, it's, like, it's alchemy. Like, like you spill your blood over this, oh, the George thing, the dragon George. What, what was it? The George. The dragon slayer. The All right, the dragon slayer. Yeah. And people say, well, you're a reptilian, blah, blah. You're a reptilian at the core of your brain. It's responsible for fight or flight. If I take your videos and zoom in, uh, eventually we're going to see a, what appears to be a slit in one of your eyes. And that shouldn't shock you out. You're reptilian first. And you need to be seven generations removed, like the sons of Cain. Mm-hmm. My mother's maiden name is Cain. I am Brawn, the guardian of the grail. It's that I'm allowed back into the Garden of Eden. That mark 
of Cain. Okay, mm -hmm. there's no way to fuck it up. You're looking at Cain right now. It said I'm over seven generations removed from that reptilian core brain where I'm not worried about money. I don't want your worship. I'm not trying to mm -hmm. fuck everybody. You know, everything is, you know, nice and wholesome and, you know, and good for me. Nobody, like I said, nobody, everybody's happy. It, it's like, it's I know what not to do to make other people get pissed off and whatever it is that you go through in your day. You know, people, what I'm saying is Mother's Day just went by. To think that you have to only have one day to worship your mother, mother's is sickly. You should be thanking your mom for your belly button every freaking day. You know, add up your mother's birthday, like per month or day to year, come to a single digit or two digits, and every time you see the clock show those two digits, you touch your belly button and you look up like to a picture of your mother and you thank her for your opportunity, you know? This is the type of shit. The reason my boss keeps throwing me forward from it, because thank you for opportunity. Whatever it is you want. Yes, sir. I'm your man. You know what I mean? It's like, this is what everybody gets from me. The only people who get shit from me are people. Yeah. I don't know. Nobody bothers me. I get a, a few Jesus freak emails, but I, I mean, I love to rub this shit in their face. Yeah. They don't even know what the fucking spear of destiny is. No, they're just, they're just living in fear. And they have to, have to say to what it is. They wouldn't. They don't know what it is. That's true. Do you think anybody knows what the Spear of Destiny is until we tell them? Hang you with. And I'm just saying, if you're picking on my blood brothers and sisters who are here, spilling up their blood for getting to try and get you heaven on earth, passage into the garden of Eden, eternal life. I mean, for you to even talk shit and call us demonic and stuff, I mean, this is like the greatest thing to me. You know what I mean? I'm literally sitting here and saying, it, it doesn't matter what you believe. You ain't got no spiritual currency for heaven's sake. When I say my demons have you marked and they're coming after you, people should be flipped out. Like I told that guy, evil resurrection. It's already too late for him. And what that means is that they're already pickle, they're already tickling him, in, in the way that he's either going to lose interest in the whole idea because his whole life's going to fall apart, and the last things he's going to bother with is YouTube and making stupid videos about us. You understand me? Mm -hmm. When he keeps digging his grave too long. What happens is he causes an avalanche of negativity to fall in on himself. I didn't pick on all these other people. You don't see me running around picking on people, do you? This motherfucker's going through video after video after video after video. That's what these fuckers do. They pick on one after the next after the next. They, you're this, you're a tranny, you're a... For heaven's sakes, every time I hear somebody call somebody like a tranny, they're clearly a tranny chaser. They take it up to ask for sure and probably wear panties. What I'm saying is don't pick on people because it will come back on you. It will fucking come back on you. For sure, you'll find yourself falling into an avalanche of shit because you just didn't apply those words selflessly. Like, I think you're a training good thing. Maybe you could use that talent to motivate people to bring forth heaven and earth rather than finding some, some horrible thing to tear people up with. Whatever it is, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what it is. You could... I mean, somebody called my son a girl. I mean, that's just a funny shit. You know, people just love to play around. And, you know, it's just funny. And like I said, don't pick on anybody. I don't pick on home. I don't pick on anybody. I leave everybody alone now because I know every word I speak is a magic spell. And whatever you throw out is like a power cell. Like anytime everybody's ever said the word Satan, the devil, that vibration came out of their mouth and a power cell was placed into the universe, an elemental force. Mm -hmm. When somebody steps up, like I did, I say, I capture all those little power cells, and you can see here, fuck everybody, I'm taking a roll. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it, it's like oozing from me, just like it's it's oozing from you. Like like you do your videos with your, the, the tongue thing, that's like the greatest shit for me. I love that stuff because, because it, it's unfolding. And it can't be escaped from. It's not for for somebody to keep making videos like like after this. I think it's evil whatever reflection. He's at number six specifically. He keeps complaining that his channels keep getting shut down. I understand that sucks, but it's probably not for the reason he thinks. Mm -hmm. Probably for something completely different. Like he's using other people's music or content, and and that's what's shutting him down. Not the fact that he's going after you or me because. 
I love when people come after you. I love when people talk. I look for too. shit. Uh, quasi luminous exposed, Satan exposed. I love for that shit. I just, that's what makes me. You, know, you, you gotta have your haters. Everybody's gotta hate Satan, right? There's only 144,000 in the Book of Life. Anybody out there you think suggest they're Satanist, that's funny. If they were worshiping Satan himself, they'd be part of us. One family, blood thick, book of life, all the way. Holy Grail, found of you. But they're so fucking in reverse. They just want money, wealth, power, all the shit that they could just increase their own, you know. It's like everybody's a black hole that can, they can't be filled. I'm just filled. My hole gets filled by filling everybody else's holes up. And when, the more you give out, like when people say, the art cons or whatever beings, they suck on your fear of negative energy. I'll sit back and say, if there's any forces out there that need to suck on my energy, knock yourself out. You want me to watch horror movies so you can suck the fear out of me? You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. if I donate blood and it goes to a blood bank and they sell it to a, a reptilian alien, whatever you want to call them, that's just funny. And they sit there drinking my my blood like Capri Sun packets. <clears throat> For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and you are what you eat. They would literally find themselves, it didn't matter what state of negativity you think they were in, over a short period of time, just like the people I donated my blood to over the years, surely there's something in those people, they can't figure it out. Mm-hmm. Because they don't remember they got a transfusion or something like this years ago when they had an operation. The point I'm trying to make is that there's something mythical about them that they can't place, surely. Because your blood, you cut your hand, you make a blood oath with somebody like the way the Indians did. You know what I mean? This is, we're bound in blood. People are flipped out by blood and for good reason. It's owned by your creator. You need to use it selflessly or you end up having something come back to bite you in your ass. It's like I said, I gave away my free will. Just like this movie over here. People should really grasp this shit. It, they show you right over here, you know. It, it, the computer that you're in, I do. <laughs> What's it going to take? People say they want to get out of hell and shit like that. Right? They say, I want to get out of hell. I can't wait. wait do this. Uh, I want that. But they can't. For the life of the blood is in the flesh. You need to make atonement for your filthy souls. You think you're sinless. That's ridiculous. How many women have you fucked and left? How many, whatever it is that you've done out there, it's just, some of you are really fucking horrible and you're really starting to see it. I did, I did crazy shit for, for what I called love. My wife said, will you blood up over here? Do this. It was like Tom Cruise type shit. I like the mummy and shit. I married off to this great force, this infinite potential. And I wasn't able to really grasp the magnitude of, of what was going on until, like, later on. Like, we could see it in movies. Like, the mummy and shit. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the goddess of, the god of death is who she brought into his body. And I'm telling you, it's actually the goddess of death. You're birthed into this world to your mother, you'll be birthed out of this world to your mother. Yeah. If you see, like, the angel of death skeletons, it's usually a skeleton of a woman. And... That's true. Like, it's it's like, like the shoulders, like you could, you could fit three heads, one here, one here, and here. On, and, but you see the angel. It's like a, a you know, it's it's thin. They're showing you. And I know they, they project this male voice onto you, but it's it's Halil, the goddess of death. It's like mm-hmm. when you see the mummy returns and shit with the the shit on her head and like Conan the Barbarian with the writing on that shit. This is the type of shit that's written in my bones, and my son's bones, my wife's bones. We flip people out, genuinely flip motherfuckers. And I'm not scared to tell you, you will join me in blood or expire by the book. Because we're on specific shit. Like, I say specific shit, and then you see it matches up with specific shit in the book. And I'll target those specific passages, read them in, play them backwards, and I'll pick up specific shit that... that it's like what I'm saying to you is that it was placed there specifically for me. There's no accidents. When I say I love you, God bless you, this shit, and it turns out to be that. I'm telling you, it was placed there for me to find it and distribute out the knowledge because I'm the one who decapitates gods. You know, 
Jesus is the king of kings. That's funny. I decapitate kings and gods. Okay? On behalf of your creator. It's that kings and gods will help us out for the benefit of all to release us. Or this sphere of destiny allows me to literally decapitate them. Like I said, don't you dare say God bless you. God loves you. I love you. It makes me cringe. Because you don't know what the fuck you're saying. You went to grammar school and learned your book of the dead. And that's why it's we shall die, we will die, we shall die. And everything about you is you're dead. They took your soul for you. You're just so filthy, sickly, zombie, retarded. Even I show you your fucking all of your souls already in this box. You won't believe it. You'll think I'm crazy. Good, I want you to think I'm crazy. The Book of Life only has 144,000 names. I only need to wake up 144,000 of you that need to assume your motherfucking position. If one of you fail to assume the position, look, the book says you jeopardize the whole fucking mission of getting everybody eternal life, heaven and earth. You know what I'm saying? It's your fault for calling me a demon. And I tell you I'm Satan. And you better fucking hope I'm Satan. All your leaders swear in the Bible says that this is my world. And I want to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Get so, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with that? What does it matter who the hell? You know what I mean? They threw out a seat at him because he wouldn't bow down before man and worship God's creation. He said, I'm prettier than you. Yeah, you're going to make me bow down before that lowly, whatever it is that you think you are. I mean, you are a monster by definition. So I imagine I can understand why we want to bow down before these filthy monsters. Couldn't even obey his creator's command. Don't eat from that one apple. Yeah, whatever it is. It's, it's all by a book. It's all... You have to eat of the apple. This is the green astral jet, the tree of life. The fruit from this tree is at the center of the flat earth plane. And there's a ring around it. You can't get past that barrier. That mythical frost bridge. Okay. Without having a specific type of blood. Now people say, well, I'm old by them, this, I'm, I'm or they, Whatever it is. All right. People get flippy about their blood. You know, I made a couple of jokes like I'm old positive and I'm positively going to that holy hole, whole positive, you know what I mean? It's, but what I'm saying, it doesn't matter what blood you have, it's no soul left behind. I'm doing this for the benefit of all. But it is a book of life with 144,000 names. I didn't make that shit up. I didn't make your fucking Bible up. I didn't do all that shit. It was all placed there for somebody to just bring it all together and carry a prophecy. Bring it all together with blood so it, it would be real. You know, mm -hmm. it's that the powers of the lost secrets of whatever you, people say masonry freemason if there was i know you think people have power out there but they're they don't because they're selfish you don't get it so i got a big billion trillion dollars they ain't going nowhere i'm telling you it's not about how much money you have if you had a billion dollars and you were giving it away and bringing everybody to a mythical place that doesn't exist to get it i mean that's something different you know what i'm saying but that's not the case. You don't see billionaires doing this shit, publishing ads on TV, or even making videos. What I'm saying to you is, you know, we're cooking this frog slowly. I don't want anybody's help. I would just like to fulfill this book of life, 144,000 names by the book. And that's it, you know. People just can't grasp this shit. It's already been woven. Some original pope, long time ago wrote these specific words into the canon law so that satan could come here and do this shit that's why there's a two corinthians 4 4 in your king james motherfucking bible that's why there's an old testament and a new testament and a book of enoch and all this other shit each i can't take money worship or advice you because i'm not a fucking religion okay and you know i I'm not Jesus. I don't want your fucking worship. I'm Satan. The devil doesn't want your worship. He wants your fucking blood side by side so that we're blood thick. You, you know what I mean? There's, there's like I said, if there ever was a Satan or a devil, go out there and show me one fucking contract published where you see thousands of thousands of people spilling up their blood. Wherever he's, that's demonic, satanic. Demons are going to attach you. You're going to go insane and all kinds of, you're going to rot in hell. You're going to burn on like a fire. I guarantee you, I will be burning in the lake of fire before I'm dead. When the spirit just came to me, it stabbed me in the chest and took over me. I thought I had control over the spear of destiny, but it's, 
It's the spirit of destiny that possesses me. It's sort of like the six stones on that whatever guy's infamous snap where he erased, you know. Yeah, Bono's. People that had no heart. Mm -hmm. That's why Thanos was the good guy. He was erasing anybody who had no heart. That's what they showed in the movie. All the people that disappeared were all selfish and this and that. And they were locked in the cube. Their soul box where they could be re-resurrected in another movie. This is no accident. I mean, no, no, no. I'm sorry. we got to slam this shit home to people with the demon shit, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've literally spilt up so much blood on every demon sigil there is, on every possible way that what one demon says. Now you got to do it like this for this particular. I mean, I've been shown by the angel of death how to go through step by step and I was given a book of life. I, I, I'm sorry. I was, I was given this mythical book of demon codes, and if I show it to you, you will die within seven days. That's just like the movie The Ring. It's that I stand here a Saturn. You see my blood. I'm telling. You, it's just like the movie The Ring. If you were to gaze upon this book, you would die within seven days. It's just like a phone call. You know, it's it's it's. What I'm saying to you is that people ask me, "Show me your mythical spear," and I mean that's just funny shit. I mean, people have no, 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 they can't see anything, you know. They couldn't see it if they wanted to. They're not allowed to see it yet. That's right. 